One technique to prepare a sample for IR spectroscopy is to make a new Joel Moore. A small amount of your compound is ground to a very fine powder using a mortar and pestle. A few drops of new Joel are then added and the two are mixed together to create a paste. The sample is then transferred to potassium bromide discs. These are very moisture sensitive so are stored with a drying agent. They have to be handled with great care to make sure they don't come into contact with moisture or water otherwise the discs will dissolve. The sample is transferred to one of the discs using a flexible end of a small spatula. Again care is taken with the spatula to ensure that you don't scratch the surface of the discs. The two discs are then pressed together to create a film. To support the discs in the spectrometer, plate holders are used. They all have slightly different designs. This one consists of two separate plates held together by three screws. The screws are tightened one by one to ensure the pressure is applied evenly across the plates. This sample is now ready to go into the spectrometer. You may come across other types of plate holder. This is a different design. This one consists of a spring inside a central cylinder, but they all have the same principle of simply holding the sample tightly in place, ready for when it goes into the IR spectrometer. Another way to prepare your sample for use in an IR spectrometer is to make a solution. A small amount of your compound is added to a sample vial, The solvent is then added to prepare a solution of approximately 5% concentration. At undergraduate level, you'll generally be told which solvent to use. The solution cell is used to contain the sample in the spectrometer. Again, this is stored in a dry environment. The solution cell consists of two potassium bromide plates clamped together. Any contact with moisture would damage the plates. Having first carried out a spectrum of your solvent, you can then transfer your solution to the cells. Solution is added until all the air is expelled from the solution cell. Small plastic plugs are then used to make sure none of your solution escapes. You can see that all plate holders have a groove on either side to ensure they fit snugly into the spectrometer. They then fit directly into the path of the infrared radiation to enable the spectrum to be recorded.